nowadays, smartphones take on an increasingly higher importance in our lives. As research demonstrates, we spend around 23 days a year communicating with our family, friends and for business purposes. Phone numbers, agenda and emails are more and more dependent from smartphones and sometimes we simply cannot afford to live without this powerful tool. However, their use is bounded to the battery's duration. There is the major threat to the possibility of being always connected. How stressing can it be when you need a phone number or have to make an important call and you're low on battery without chance of recharging? We, from Remi, have solved this problem and came up with a solution that will not only enhance your smartphone's usage time, but will actually guarantee that you never run out of battery and lose your connectivity. In order to use our service, our customer has to subscribe to a one-year plan, either economy or business. When the user finds himself without battery, he can go to one of our vending machines, where after having swiped his membership card, he may collect one or two of our devices. The device, or Remi as we call it, as big as a 50 cent coin, can be easily plugged in your phone and will recharge it to maximum power in around two hours. Once his phone is fully charged, the customer drops off his device in one of our vending machines, where it will be recharged and put back into distribution. A potential customer could be an employee picking up a Remi when entering the office in the morning, uses it during his working day and returns it before leaving. When we came up with our idea, we wanted to put all the positive features of the existing products into one device. We found three main competitors. The first one is the common phone charger. It is a reliable tool, but nobody wants to carry it around and you're obligated to stay in one place to recharge. The second competitor is an external device, very similar to the ones used by our service. The inconveniences about it is that the customers forget it or don't recharge it beforehand. Finally, yet important, you may have seen charging spots around the city or airports. While this type of solution solves the problem of having to carry your charger around, it still does not solve the problem of having to stay in the same place. Alright, now let's take a look at the key assumptions behind our solution. One of the first things we heard when we presented our idea is that the battery life of smartphones will increase in the future and would make our solution redundant. That might be true, but we think this won't happen in the next 5-7 to seven years. Because we discovered during our talks with Apple and Samsung that even advances of more than 50% in battery capacity will be directly offset by higher energy consumption. The next aspect I want to mention is customer behavior. The reason why we decided to operate a subscription-based business model is to raise the entry barriers for future competitors. Our pricing of around $30 per subscriber is based on a survey with 250 participants. Additionally, we are assuming to reach around 4% of the Australian smartphone users after a 5-year expansion period. In order to reduce the environmental impact that our solution creates, we decided to put emphasis on the fact that our products are recyclable and can be reused many times. Let's talk about some numbers. Based on the assumptions made in the previous section, our solution will generate more than $23 million of revenue over the next 5 years. Whereas we expect only around 150 subscribers in year 1, this number will grow up to 350,000 at the end of year 5. Our solution would generate an average profit of $900,000 per year and has an NPV of $1.1 million as a cost of capital of 20%. In order to finance the negative cash flow in the first three years, we need to raise only $6.5 million, which will then return a yield of 36% per year. This is the part where we like to work with Deloitte. Besides the funding, we would benefit from Deloitte's extensive corporate network. In order to give you a better insight in the different phases of the implementation process, let's have a look at the roadmap. The first stage aims to develop the technical knowledge and IP to proceed with the project. The next stage aims to prove the business concept by installing a prototype and all necessary processes. This stage would end after 9 months and requires an initial investment of $48,000. The end of the stage is reached when 150 people subscribe to our service and we succeeded to launch the website. After we have reached this milestone, the next level is the rollout to the whole Sydney area. In order to test the scalability of our solution, we will aim to acquire 15,000 subscribers 
and $450,000 of revenue until the end of year two. This expansion will require an additional funding of $1 million to buy all the needed vending machines and rebate chargers. The final stage then will aim to spread our solution over all major cities in Australia. This major rollout requires around 2,000 vending machines and half a million rebate chargers. Over the next three years then, our servers will need to attract 350,000 subscribers and generate $22.5 million of revenue. This increase must be funded by an additional investment of $5.5 million in year three of the project. Besides this core business, our solution also has further potential in the future. Based on the Three Horizons model, future growth can be achieved by broadening the product range and include charger for mobile devices like tablets, laptops or Google Glass. In the far future, it would be possible to expand on a global level and to diversify into solutions for e-mobility. Conclusively, let me summarize the most important aspects for you to remember. The first thing is the significance of the problem. Nowadays, the connectivity is a very important key to success. Smartphones are the primary gateway for the most essential applications, for business purposes and for personal lives. Losing this linkage is a major problem that affects a large number of people. Secondly, there are some approaches to solve this tremendous problem, but Rini is by far the most feasible, convenient and sophisticated solution. It guarantees you access to battery power anytime and anywhere. Last but not least, our solution carries a huge growth potential for Deloitte and for Rini itself. We will benefit from a collaboration with Deloitte by getting access to the extensive network. Deloitte, on the other hand, will benefit from us by creating value for its firm, returning a yield of 36% per year. Thank you very much for your attention. We will be happy to answer any of your remaining questions in the following Q&A session.